waarop naar uit de uh, salmon leep op een klachan. Ik zie een few salmon jumping op. I have a different pair of boots on me today. I'm hoping these ones won't fall apart. It'll be a nice change. It's the top of the bridge up here now. So we'd cross that bridge there, cross the river, straight onto this big banking that I'm standing on now. And away up there. But there's a wee thing I found here before I'm gonna show it to you. It's mildly interesting. <laughs> it's a thing only I would fucking notice. Look at that there old telegraph pole there, look. Look at it, that's antique there. All these old ceramic cylinders on them, whatever the hell they are. And there's like a wee light on top of it or some kind of a wee thing. Well, when's the last time you looked at a telegraph pole and seen see one like that? F find me another one of them in the county. Find me one of them. Because that's the only one I've ever seen there. You could bring that into the Antiques Roadshow there. Get it valued. Bring it on the JCB, you know. Wreck all the other stuff. Smash all these priceless artifacts. But that's a real old telegraph pole there, boy. Anyway, on to the next one. Aye, it's the time of the year for them boys. If you want to go into space, or hospital. <laughs> ah, 
are coming up now. We're in Port Hall now outside Lafford. And we're coming up now. Oh yeah. Cha cha. Ah. We're coming up now to the River Foyle. And this is an old railway bridge now that crosses the river. And it's still intact and you can still drive across it. So it's called the Red Bridge. The Red Bridge in Port Hall. And it crosses the River Foyle here. But it doesn't cross over to the far side, which you would think. It crosses onto an island. There's a big island in the middle of the river here. Here we go. Ah, fucking roads bad. I don't know. Now we're in the old railway bridge now. The red bridge. That's the river foil there. And now we're on the far side, we're on an island. Some mess. That's the red bridge now for you. There was people living in this island. There's the remains of old houses on this island. And I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about hundreds of years ago, I'm talking about within living memory. Like. But then when you get on the island then, the, the, obviously the, the bridge continued on across the other side of the river to uh, Tyrone, Straban. But that part of the bridge was uh, I think the REC blew it up during the troubles because uh, it was being used for bad things, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> when they were deciding who was going to get the island, was the Republic going to get it or was the North England going to get it? I don't know if it's true or not but this is what I heard. But uh, they went up the Lifford Bridge and they threw a barrel over the, over the bridge. And if the barrel went down on, on the Donegal side of the river, then Ireland got it. And if the barrel went down on the Stavans, Tyrone side of the river, then the UK got the island. So the barrel obviously went down on the, the Donegal side of the river because the, this island's still part of the Republic. <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not. It's a good story anyway. But I think that's the way we should settle all our political debates in the future. Any kind of political disagreement, we should just go up to, go up to the bridge and throw a barrel over. That'd be great. That's a great way of fucking solving arguments. <laughs> Make about as much sense as what to do in fucking Doll Aaron.
That's Crowhan Hull up there. See the old windmill? Up in Spring Hill. Now you're looking over the Ballandret. Beautiful Ballandret. <laughs> and that's the first time I ever seen sheep in these fucking fields. There's always cattle. Big fat Charlie fucking cattle. Whatever is happening. McDougal's. This is all McDougal's farm. All his land. The farm just up there. Three old bachelors. The old boy used to work for them. And here is the old railway bridge. Or what's left of it. That is the Burndale River. That's where the train crossed the deal there. Now when I was a young fella, there was another one of these pillars in the middle of the river and another one on the far side but they dug them up I don't know why don't, don't ask me why because I don't know I don't know, you probably can't really see it very well with the camera, but you can see the kind of foundation of where the old pillar was in the middle of the river. I remember when I was a young fella asking my friend's father, I said we were talking about the old railway, specifically here, is it going across here? And I said to him, then could she go fast? How fast could she go? And my friend's father looked at me and says, I'll never forget it. He says, it was that slow you could have jumped off her, done a push and jump back on her again. <laughs> fast then. That's uh, part of the old platform and then the Ballandret railway station. You see the old steps. And over there as well. You can see the little arched window. But I don't want to go over there. There's people living over there. And then just around a the corner there's another big arch, just at that corner there was a railway bridge. It went over the road but 
they had to knock it because the uh, lorries couldn't get under it. That there now, that lane now continues now up to Rafaul, up alongside the Rafaul Road. That's where it crossed the road there. Used to be used to be an arch here. The train come along there, over the arch. You can still see the wall there. And when that, when that arch was still there, a lovely big arch and a big bridge across the road, when we were young fellas we used to be up on top of it, up to no good, throwing eggs down into the top of cars and fucking water balloons and then running away up the bank and up, up, the, up the train line there. <laughs> we had no internet in them days. <laughs> and we were terrible sad when they knocked the arch down because Big lorries couldn't get through the arch because the arch was too low. And they came and they knocked the arch down and they spoiled all our fucking fun. The bastards. <laughs> right. Here we are in Ballandrit. My own wee village. Oh, look at the rubbish fucking on them trees. Jesus Christ. That is awful. Christ, I tell you, I spent half my childhood at that river. I know every fucking inch of it. Well, I used to. A nice wee village when the sun's shining. There's the horseshoe in. The Balance Red Bridge. Kiln here. Very well preserved. Christ, that's a that's a wooden lintel there. They used to get lime and big blocks, dig it out of the ground then they'd burn it in these things until it turned into a powder and then they'd put the powder in the land then that would help things to grow Christ. Fuck me And top of an old railway bridge. Aha! Oh, 
Oh look. That must have been a track in there. That was for crossing it. That right, Mr. Wood Pigeon. <laughs> she is wild. Blackbird. Instead of just nailing everything together, they made they made square holes in the post and then fitted the fitted the side posts into it. It was really well made, like everything was made to last. I just wanted to see that too. Because it's the last original wee piece left. Great craftsmanship. The last original piece of the old railway fence. All the rest all rotted away. Just that wee bit survived somehow. Look, three grown up fruit, half on. Ah well, that's the way it goes. <laughs> This is a lovely wee railway arch here, just outside Rafo. It's on the wee back road, the convoy. It's on the it's on the high road or the low road or some kind of fucking road. But uh, that's identical to the arch that was in Ballandrate that we used to throw water balloons on cars. <laughs> but there's very few of these left that are you know still still here. Like they they're always knocked. You always see the stumps of them, and you never see them because lorries can't get under them, but this one survived somehow. And there's a wee holy well in here, at, at them white pillars, we'll have to take a look at that. St. Bridget's well.
and that is the station master's house in Rafaux, in the Rafaux railway station, very well kept. They all have the same style as we railway houses. This is where the train would have come in. This road and the platform, as she said, was on there. All gone. Oh well, that's the way it goes. So, this is your the house here. Yeah, that's our house. And this was the old. That's a platform. The only thing's oh, changed right. is the porch. Somebody put a porch on it. Uh huh. Um, Actually, let's see. That's a lovely, lovely house. So. But sure, I can't get any. I need a new roof. Oh, Jesus. And I can't get a grant. I'm sixty-seven, and I went up the railway place in Donegal Town, but they said that I'm not under the heritage, it would only be anything by the CA would be under the heritage. How would that not be under the heritage? That's crazy. Mm. You don't mind if I go out and just fill in the house uh, from the... No, I've gone ahead. The platform, and then that's the house at the end of that road, but it's on the main road now. So that, that platform there was across the road in that waste ground? Yeah. yeah. Ah, right, right, right. I'll come out of here on morning to go scavenge Very shopping. Good. Thank you. And that told it within two hours. So that's where it was there. Uh, yeah. Probably if you walk down there to the thing, you can probably be um punt with it or like a nice punt with the track maybe. Right. When did they tumble that? Ten how long it's not many, ten years ago. Yeah. That's what I was thinking, because I think I remember no. seeing that. No, but ten years ago. Actually what did they do with it? They had planning permission, believe it or not, for 262 houses. Oh, Jesus. But that was the yard there where the railway all went up. Ah. You used to be a big stone. Ah, uh, what do you call it? Big shades, you know, keep uh -huh. the stuff. For the carriages and all? Uh, <gasps> they were all up in there. Oh, well. You yeah, I think after that man was older place there, now over there, like he might be able to tell you more, but he probably wouldn't need no more information. <laughs>